What's up guys, this is Eggy, and welcome to Lunite. And you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned today, because I've got a crazy video. But of course, if you do want to come check out Lunite, the link will be down below. This custom server honestly looks insane. And with 250 online at nowhere near peak times, you guys seem to love it. Remember, link down below. But of course, if you are coming from my videos, make sure to type refer in-game, and then type Lunite just as so. If you are new to the server, you'll grab yourself some bones, a few boxes, some goodies here and there, and it's definitely worth checking out. But of course, real quick before the video, once again, Lunite has sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with a huge giveaway. So today, one lucky commenter is going to walk away with a free $25 bond, and of course, first comment today is won themselves a free grand mystery box. As always, if you guys want a chance to enter, make sure to like the video, comment your Lunite IGN down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. As always, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and let's get into it. Okay, I can't lie, I've done a bit of running around, and this server honestly looks insane. Drop a comment in the video if you guys are interested in a future series on this server. Myself, I think it looks crazy good, and it's been a while since an Iron Man's popped by. So, today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a server showcase today. Checking out one of the most popping custom servers out there at the moment, and see what it has to offer, honestly. First off, as expected, a little tour through the home. Raids portal, crystal chest, upgrade chest, definitely gonna jump back to these two, but just know there are tons of items you can actually upgrade on the server. Like, look at all that, dude! The well of goodwill and global boss teleport, scoreboard and altars. Run and pass, first off, I honestly can't get over custom models. Slayer perks. Once the well has been filled up, the perk will be activated worldwide. So double bond donations, 1.5 times damage, Double NPC kills, 1.5 times drop rate, 3 times XP, and double drops. I see, I like it. The Boss Slayer Master, of course, with a spicy shop. 100% drop rate scroll, double damage scroll, Boss Slayer Helmet Tier 1, Death Touch Darts, Collector Ring and Necklace, Infernal Ring and Necklace, Overpowered Chest, and Infinite Super Overload Potion. Interesting. Got ourselves a Slayer Dungeon. As always, I'm not going to jump through every single one of the shops. But we got the loyalty shop, PVM tickets real quick. Like, there is a huge list of customs on this server. If you guys are like me and like collecting goodies, feel free to hop by. Boss point shop as well. Daily rewards for some free goodies. Cool thing about this is you get a daily reward, and then you get another by voting. For a full week in day 7 is pretty juicy. Slayer progression master. Things like this honestly are super cool to me, cause custom servers, yes, they can get crazy confusing. So when the devs go out of their way to actually help out people to learn the game a little bit, that's a huge plus one in my books. Yo, the Hidden Valley or Green Serenic actually looks sick. Or a Legendary Slayer set? Slayer Grandmaster is just sitting at the home here. Slayer Ticket Shop. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. Slayer Point Shop. This one is kinda cool actually, the Battle Brawl Master, so different NPC tiers. So you can jump through a ton of different NPCs, which of course the previous one needs higher requirements, and go through level 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 12. But again, if you're confused, or bored for that matter, hop by here. To kill the imps, you need 50 NPCs. To kill the lord, you need 100 imp. To kill the demon, you need 200 lord. To kill the dragon, you need 300 dragon, so on and so forth. And as well, an interesting Slayer dungeon sitting at home. I will note that you can buy food, consumables, and of course restart your stats at the healer here. The global boss token store. And of course, vote point shop and donator stores. Inside of the hut is a fat list of shops. But trust me when I say it, I've done a little bit of looking around and Lunite honestly has a lot to offer. And with a super active dev team, they're pumping updates out like crazy. And of course, link down below if you guys want to join the Discord for yourself. I know it's not much, but no server really has a working world map. This is a big plus one. Thank you. Anyways, what do we got for the teleports? Scrolling through the bosses first, Frieza, Project Cell, Super Boo, the Scarlet Falcon, Herbal Rogue, the Azure Beast, the Joker, the Crystal Queen, that looks sick as fuck, Supreme Boss, Vasa, the Elite Dragon, Mega Avatar, Infernal Demon, Lucifer, Bro. Dark Supreme, Blood Odin, which I believe is actually recent, and looks nasty. We go on to the monsters, the Lunite Lion, Dark Bloodveld, Rusted Gargoyle, Crazy Witch, Revenants, Ice Demon, Predator, 
Cyantrix, Cyanatrix, Cyan... The Glutinous Behemoth from Dungeoneering. Bulwark, Prestige Warriors, Mini Lucifers, Necreal, and that's not even the start of it. Like I said with the Slayer Dungeon earlier, look at this. Betrayed, Damned, Hidden, Cursed, God Wars, Strike Worm, Ancient, Chaos Tunnels, eight different fully custom Slayer Dungeons. I like it. I know this is one thing that's definite- that's Teemo. Wait, I didn't notice that was Teemo. I see. <laughs> Anyways, into the teleports, click on the minigame, jump over to the starter progression if you guys are new. It's super easy to jump through, since I do have bis gear, I should be able to just one-shot 10 real quick. Not a problem. Again, since I do have an owner amulet, it does act as a collector's necklace, so things are being picked up automatically for me. Gimme. <clears throat> but, just as so. You finish the first zone, you get some goodies. Then the next is unlocked, and you go- and you go through. I believe in total there are 10 zones, but this is a great way to start out your account. Get some boxes, get some cash. What is that? What is that? And overall, a quick way to get a decent gear set up. As we see in the first zone, a free Brutal minigun and a free Brutal staff. Couple PVM boxes, come on! Just know, if you guys like opening up boxes, this is probably the perfect server for you. You get spoon-fed so many, it's kinda sick actually. And when I say Lunite actually has a ton to offer that is super unique, I made it, dude. Look at this. You may be wondering, what is this junk? Well, good sir, this is not junk. These are different dusts, runes, and arrows to help buff your account, actually. So they're wielded inside the arrow slot, and so how it works. The runes are, of course, going to be for magic, the arrows, of course, for range, and then the dust is going to help boost your melee. The basic runes have no actual perks added to them, just some stats. 1k damage across the boards. The death, arrows, runes, and dust have a 2% chance to one-hit your target. The AoE for area of effect increase your area of effect damage by 10%. And healing, which will heal you 0.1% of damage dealt. It's a super unique system that honestly I don't think I've ever seen before. And to get them, the Halls of Ammo. A fresh minigame to the server with tons to fight. We have Kill Jaden from World of Warcraft. Big shouts to the boys for giving me a fat gear set. There's Oryx. The Crystal Orc. I don't think I'll be able to actually kill. Nope. Gotta run. Screeg. Stop. Stop. The Light Demon. Can I punch him to death? Hopefully, maybe? This might take a while. Speed up, clip. Waste some time. Finish a Halls minigame. And I got 90 Tier 1 Death Arrows and 330 Tier 1 Healing Dust. Right click, upgrade. And you can right click and upgrade them with the upgrade tokens. So for example, Tier 1 has plus 250. Tier 3 have plus 1k. And I'm not 100% sure if the higher tier of ammunition, the higher chance the effect will hit. But either way, dude, tell me another server you've seen that on. That's actually pretty sick. That is by no means all of it. Honestly, this server has so much. Treasure Hunter minigame, a crypto minigame. Yes, a crypto minigame. Of course, US dollars are the shittiest ones, kek. 79 US dollars have been added to my bank, gimme gimme. But kill the tier 1s, get the cash room key, move on to tier 2 so on and so forth. Another really sick thing though guys is the different tiers. You may notice across the game you'll see tier 10, tier 1 of course on the starter progression, the battle brawl NPC shows you different tiers of NPCs, and alongside the upgrade chest as well, tier 1 all the way up to tier 6 and level 120, it essentially just gives you some quality of life to help kind of understand the game, because as a lot of us know, custom servers can get confusing as hell. Also, on top of that, there's a ton of guides throughout their Discord, forums, and even on YouTube. Since they've actually partnered with so many different YouTubers since their launch, there are loads of videos and loads of different places to help you learn the game a little bit. Also, this is big for me, I know it's going to be big for a lot of you guys as well. A massive list of achievements, which all give loads of goodies as well. Free 50 bond there. Anyways guys, super quick video today. Like I said, this is literally the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Lunite. This server has tons to offer, and I will be jumping back on very shortly. Stay tuned, because I may even be doing some streams here. Either way though guys, make sure to check out this server if you haven't already, link down below. And as well, drop a comment down below if you're interested in a future Iron Man series maybe. Anyways, make sure to enter for that huge giveaway, and of course to join mine in the Lunite Discords by using the links down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and later!